This LibCast will introduce you to the elements of an APA journal article citation. Before you view this LibCast, you may want to review the LibCast that introduces you to scientific journal literature. By now, you know that magazine articles are very different from scientific journal articles. However, both journals and magazines have one thing in common. They are published as individual issues that contain a selection of articles. All the issues for a year are compiled to form one volume. In fact, some journals produce so many issues that they produce several volumes per year. A journal article citation is like an address. The citation provides key elements to help you identify the location of an article. Citations can be created in a variety of different styles, depending on the academic subject area. The APA style was created by the American Psychological Association and is used by scholars and students in the sciences and social sciences. Here is an example of a standard APA citation for an electronic journal article. Notice that it uses a hanging indent. The second line of the citation and any subsequent lines are indented. The citation always begins with the author names. As you can see, they're written in reverse order, last name first, and instead of given names, the author's initials are used. The year of publication appears after the author's names and is placed in parentheses. Next is the article title, which indicates the specific research topic. The journal title is the title of the publication in which the article has been published. In an APA citation, the journal title appears after the article title. Notice that the journal title is in italics to distinguish it from the article title. Are there other ways of distinguishing between journal and article titles? Well, take a look at the wording of the article title. It describes a specific research topic, a very focused topic which is encompassed within the broader scope of the journal's content. Here is another clue. In APA style, each keyword of the journal title begins with a capital letter. The article title, on the other hand, is mainly written in lowercase letters, except for any proper nouns that are present. The next elements give the specific location of the article in the journal. The volume number comes first, and it's italicized, like the journal title. Most of the time, but not always, an issue number comes next, and appears in parentheses. Next comes the range of pages where the article appears. Many electronic articles are now identified by an Individual Digital Object Identifier, or DOI, which is similar to a barcode on a product. The DOI is a unique numeral that represents the electronic article. Not every article has a DOI. If there's no DOI, APA style requires that the database name or the article's persistent URL be included in the citation for the electronic article. Articles that are available only in paper, or so-called print articles, do not have an electronic version, so there is no need of a DOI, URL, or a database name in the citation. Sometimes you may be given bits and pieces of a citation presented in a different order than in the APA citation. Here is an example. How would you create an APA citation from these elements? Remember that each citation begins with the author's names in reverse order with initials. There should be commas between the last name and first initial, and between author names. Then, the publication year in parentheses, article title, the main topic, in lowercase, journal title, in capitals and italics, set off by commas, the volume in italics and the issue number, the range of pages, and finally, the DOI. Although this LibCast focuses on APA citations for journal articles, APA style is also used to cite books, technical reports, and other types of scholarly information. For more information on APA style, check the APA style quick guide. Click on this link or access the guide from the library's How Do I pages. This has been a brief introduction to the elements of an APA journal article citation, a LibCast that Dalhousie Libraries provides to help you research and learn effectively. If you need any other assistance, please contact one of our reference desks or get online assistance with our live help service. You may also want to view some of our other LibCasts on doing library research.